What's up YouTube? How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the TP-Link AX 1500 router which is the cheapest Wi-Fi 6 router that you can find out there in the market. I got this one at 70 bucks so definitely reasonable and it provides two bands 2.4 and 5 gigahertz with compatibility for A, B, G, N, A, C, and A, X. Now Today I'm going to be reviewing this and don't forget to give it, this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Now, where should I start? Um, the box says it has 1.5 gigabits per second speed, hence the name 1500. Now what does that mean? It doesn't mean that you get 1500 megabits per second on AX band, no. It breaks down into two pieces, right? One is 2.4. The 2.4 has speed up to 300, and the uh, 5 gigahertz has speeds up to 1201, according to this box. Now, it has beamforming technology standard from AC band, and also new to Wi-Fi 6 is OFDMA. In English, it's, it means fast uplink and downlink, which reduces jittering of network. So this is the back of the TP-Link AX1500 Wi-Fi 6 router. As you can see, there are four gigabit Ethernet ports over there with one WAN for your inbound connection. Now, there are four antennas, and that's the power button over there, and then there's the power. Um, and then there's a reset over here, and WPS, which is... Wi-Fi protected setup um, and then let's look at the front here it is very nice and easy simple design four antennas I typically keep them pointing up at all times what I find is that it's got the best reception when all four antennas are pointing straight up I guess it helps with the beam forming and actually with the amplifications of the signals throughout the house. Also in the front of the router, there are six LEDs over here. They're obviously off right now because it's unplugged, but you can turn them on and off based on your preference. If you don't like um, the way it lights up, you can shut it off from the TP-Link app. Okay, so let's see what this AX1500 can do. Here's a speed test, and we're gonna do it. Ping's pretty fast, three milliseconds. And we're getting close to 500. Let's see, 490, I guess. 493, and then upload. Since this is AT&T fiber, it's quite symmetrical. We've got 320. Just to be safe, let's execute it again and second speed test and we're gonna see the results. Pretty similar, I would say, um, close to 500. This is pretty good considering this is on Wi-Fi. Same thing, 340. Let's do it again. I think it's still pretty consistent. So I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, this is this iPad is again it's not Wi-Fi 6 compliant, so this is using AC network. But regardless, it's still pretty impressive. And let's take a look at the results. So we've got 466, 377, uh, 469, 340, and then fastest we've got. For download is 493, fastest upload 377. I think that's pretty decent considering um, the cheapest Wi Fi 6 router that's available on the market. Alright, now in the back of this box, TP Link also mentions that this router has triple core 1.5 gigahertz processor. What does that mean? It reduces latency and manages data a bit better. And also here it says boosted coverage. As I mentioned earlier, it's got beam forming technology. These four antennas will focus the beam into your device so that you get the best coverage throughout the house. 
Now, it also has a smart connect in the back that you can name your Wi-Fi network the same name um, on your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band so that the best one will win. What does that mean? If you're far away and 5 gigahertz signal strength is say 20%, right? It's obviously not going to use that. Instead, it's going to use the 2.4 gigahertz which has stronger signal and if you have the same SSID set for both you can take advantage of that smart connect. It also has gigabit internet access in the back. Um, these orange ports here, uh, they essentially provide the best speed for your device. Let's say you are a gamer and you want to take advantage of super fast download and also lower your latency and you can just plug your ethernet cord in the back of these ports. All right, so that's about it. TP-Link AX1500, a very simple entry-level Wi-Fi 6 router. I'm pretty happy with my purchase. So far, it's been great. This video is not sponsored by TP-Link, but by all means, I do this because I'm a happy customer and I wanna share with you guys what I think about this entry-level Wi-Fi 6 router. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see ya.